What's going on? Welcome back to the Salty Twins. I'm Ricky and this is Tony. We're out here in California right now getting ready to go diving. We're in Stillwater Cove in Monterey. We're gonna be in about 20, 30 feet of water, just kind of cruising. This is Ricky's first time spear fishing out here in Northern California. <laughs> dive knife the dive knife is important you always want a dive knife just in case you have to cut the line if you get a fish you can properly dispatch dispatch the fish that way it's not suffering that's key so he has one I have one right here as well different brand mine's apnea I don't know and then he has a breakdown three prong. He actually put on some, uh, what do you call yeah, it? It's like grip. Like so grip tape. All it is is, uh, yeah, grip tape. So you just tape it, grips it up for the pole spear. So this is a four piece, uh, or actually three piece pole spear. And then you have the tip. So I'm only putting on two, so it's a little bit shorter. And then we have our three prong. So next purchase is gonna be a slip tip for the pole spear. In the bottle, all we have is conditioner and hot water. He's just filling it up. And that way it slips on because this is open cell neoprene. So um, the type of material is open cell neoprene. So you'll have to have it all uh, lubed up. That way it slips on your body or else it's gonna pull your hairs and it's gonna be very hard to get on. Isn't that right? Oh yeah. Got the dive flag. A little trick that I do is I put a little bit on my shoulders. That's usually where it, it gets a little difficult to put on. If you guys didn't know, that's our Porsche right there. If you guys want to rent it, uh, go to the Salty Twins on Instagram. The link will be in our bio. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Dude, that'd be awesome. We'll deck it out. We'll lift it, three inch lift, put some mud tires on there, roof rack, good to go. We could definitely be diving wherever we want. There we go. Slips on like butter. That's key. Boom. Then we got some booties. I don't know if you can see. Just got booties. I have three millimeter. He has five millimeter. You definitely want booties. And uh, throw them in your fins. We also got gloves. He has five millimeter gloves. I have gloves as well. Right over here. Mine, uh, I got gripped on. That way I can grab onto the rocks. So I don't have to worry about getting scraped up and whatnot. And then throw on the weight belt. That's all you got to do. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Just take your time. That's the biggest thing is just, we just swam a bunch, so your heart's gonna be racing. So just take your time and breathe. Okay, I found some over there, but let me uh, take a look. The visibility, it's definitely not ideal right now. Not very good. Yeah, I'm good. I lost my dive light along the way. But it's okay. You did too? There's a decent rock 
if you go down and you just go to the right but you got to check all the holes right now we're just trying to find some structure where these rockfish are going to be housed we're seeing boulders here and there but nothing significant and nobody living in them right now rocks over here we should start going this way we can leave that there I haven't seen any rockfish dude you are to I'm gonna keep moving there's a sea line right there right there you sure that's a sea lion? What do you want to do? Let's, let's go to the rocks real quick. There's got to be some right here. There has to be. Well, let's just keep checking all the holes. I think we should go in here, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Definitely frustrating. Basically, this one doesn't have a reel, and the rope ended up getting caught in the shaft. I'm not used to using this weapon. I'm used to using the JBL, and definitely a, a learning curve. school of perch perfect broadside and went to pull the trigger and I thought safe was on but apparently with this gun you really have to pull the trigger hard in order for it to work Have you got anything yet? Uh -oh. I got a perch. Did you? There's a crab right here. There's a whole big school of a right there. Okay, let's pause the boat to perch then.
Look. So that wraps it up for this video. We are doing a series up in Northern California, Ricky and I, and we're gonna be going out for some rockfish and some more perch tomorrow. We're also making a ceviche, so make sure you guys check out that video when it comes out. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification if you guys wanna see our videos when they first come up. But until next time, stay salty.